Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil and welcome to another Zelda Breath of the Wild episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the Shea Masa Shrine and show you how to get all the chests and we're getting started right now. So as you're making your way up to Death Mountain, probably just about to take on the Divine Beast Rudania, you'll find yourself at Goron City. Near the top part of the city, you'll also find a shrine called Shea Masa. Now, you will need a bow and some arrows before you enter the shrine, so be sure to stock up on a few. You'll need them to complete the shrine and gain access to all the chests inside. Once you get inside, you'll be presented with a gated door, some dry leaves, and a heavy wooden barrel on a ledge above the door. There will also be a hole in the ceiling, and if you look up, you'll see a hanging lamp with fire. You'll need to use arrows to cut the rope, and once you do, the hanging basket falls, catching all the leaves on fire and ultimately causes the barrel to fall on the ground. Next, you can pick up the barrel and place it on the floor trigger and that opens your first door. Next, you'll make your way through the door and take a left to find the first chest. And then next, you'll need to kill three enemies, which should be fairly easy for you especially if you use the newly found weapon, the Stone Smasher. Collect the ancient screws and whatever else the enemies drop, and be sure to grab the chest hiding over there in the corner. Now make your way up the ramp and then make a right. and make a left, and then head up the ramp. You'll see a floor trigger, so you're gonna step on it, and then you'll use your arrows to hit the hanging lamp that falls out of the ceiling, and then it'll catch the leaves on fire, which ultimately releases the metal sphere to begin rolling down the ramp. Now, hop off the ledge, and you'll find a pack of 10 ice arrows in the next treasure chest. Guys, if this video is helpful for you, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. As you go down this little hallway, you'll find on your right another gated door. So make a left and you'll find another floor trigger for you to step on. And once you do, the metal sphere that you had just sent down the ramp just a second ago will proceed forward and spin the wheel. This unlocks that gated door. So when you enter this next door, you'll make a sharp right and you'll find your next chest. Once you're done there, head up the ramp and then jump down. Now that you have the key in hand, head down the hallway and take a right. And as you turn the corner, you'll see the door that requires the key. Once you enter the door, you'll have a staircase and another floor trigger at the top of the stairs. You'll step on the floor trigger and it'll cause two hanging lamps to drop from the ceiling. Use one of your arrows to cut the rope and it should land close enough to the dry leaves and cause the wooden barrel to ultimately fall to the ground. You'll pick up the wooden barrel, put it on the floor trigger, and open the door to complete this shrine. 